Hey guys, welcome back. It's Wraith here with a video, and today we're working on the uh, Pathfinder. This is be a uh, part two of the project, and uh, today we're going to be installing a transmission cooler. Now, the transmission cooler it is a Hayden Trans Saver Rapid Cooler Transmission Oil Cooler thing. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than the original one here. As you can see, it's actually pretty nice. Real nice big fins in the middle proper circulation just a lot of cooling that's going to be going on so and of course we got hoses we got our we got our mounting pieces brackets and all that stuff so right now I just took off the uh, rubber hose off of this one when I did the bypass there we can, you can see it just took this off and gutted this basically um and I'm working on getting this bracket off and then I gotta figure out where I can mount it to where it corresponds with each of these uh holes okay guys I got the uh, transmission cooler on here let me show you just basically what I did so it came with these little brackets here I just took these and bent them and I just you know bolted them to the actual chassis and then uh, I put these foam pieces on here in the front for uh, for when the bumper goes on it doesn't like you know it's just kind of like a protection thing um, in terms of the hoses back here as you can see, it goes all the way down, runs through the radiator. This is the condenser right here. The radiator is actually behind it. This right here, this is the radiator, this is the condenser. And uh, I just took the hoses and just put them on here, you know, as as shown. And uh, this should be cooling and running through all here, like just like normal. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really basic, you know, as long as you can find a way to mount it. You know, I said this was vehicle specific, but uh, it wasn't really compatible with this mount here, so I had to just completely gut this mount. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it some uh, water for the radiator because I drained the radiator again, as you can see. Um, in the first video I did, I drained the radiator and was doing a bunch of flushing and stuff. So I'm gonna fill it with water again, run it, and then we'll see if there's any leaks, anything that's going on from the uh, tranny cooler. Leaks, no nothing. It's running great. It's getting all cooled. But engine is starting to stall for some reason. I don't know why. Not sure why it's the one on the stall. Basically, how you go and install this is you just, if you buy this one, the Hayden uh, Trans Saver Rapid Cooler, all you do is you just just do this setup really. It's actually pretty, pretty darn strong and it's ice cold. So you just take a mount here next to this hole, a mount here, you just do this metal bracket, you just bend it, and then you take these, these highs, run them through here, the corner piece, Another bracket right here with this bolt. I would put a foam piece behind here so that this hose and that stuff doesn't hit this. Protects the hose connection. Uh, another zip tie through here. Run it down behind here all the way underneath. And uh, that's pretty much it. You really only need like uh, three or four inches of this tubing. See, it's holding pressure, which is good. So, but, yep. That's pretty much it. You guys enjoyed the video this is uh part two of the series we got a couple more to go until this thing is really really roadworthy so just uh stay tuned make sure you subscribe like all that stuff and uh i'll catch you guys in the next time Dude.